Hello, welcome back to my playthrough of Wolfenstein to the New Colossus. We're continuing from the last episode and we're just gonna have power slam this door. There we go. Keep your shit together, Wyatt. Need you to step up now. That was a brutal, brutal opening of my video game. Yeah. And a Nazi. Oh shit. So. Oh, this is the uh, weapons weapon. I I don't know how to switch to a hatchet. I guess that's kind of a scenario tool instead of something you can just uh, switch to at any time. Yeah, like this. You don't have to teach me how to perform a silent takedown. I already did that a few times. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit, is this really silent takedown? <laughs> how silent can it be? We're breaking bones. In what... In what scenario is like silent takedown about cutting off the feet? You copy. Before you go upstairs. Please watch over our people while I get this done. Um, is there a glass there somewhere? No, I don't need to go here anyway. This is gonna be some high tech suit if it can fit Caroline and BJ. Because normal suits, there's no way they can wear the same suits for, for normal clothing. Hey. Like they taught us back in boot camp. Take out the commanders first. Hello. Commandant Mannheimer. Hören Sie mich? Well, I'm still collecting Enigma, Enigma codes. I don't know if they are, are they ever useful. Is this like the only weapon I have now? Wait, that shouldn't be. What about the... Oh shit, did I just do that? Oh, and they're... They're on alert, of course they are. I'm trying to switch the weapons. What, what happened to my rifle or machine gun, whatever that was? Somehow I can use that or I don't know. My my ammunition for this one is still maxed out, so I definitely have that weapon with me. How do I switch it out?
You know what? Let's try. Let's risk this. Yeah. This is how I fight now. Ah, oh, fuck. I thought I was secure here. This, uh, this super suit doesn't seem to be uh, offering too much protection. At least uh, no more than usual, because BJ has always been able to resist some bullets and uh, heal himself up to a degree. So, like, this suit is... Not really doing Only anything except, system. except uh, enabling him to walk again. That's a lot of broken limbs. This is gonna be the biggest addition to this game. A lot of broken Nazi feet, and I'm okay with that. I have a map now, and okay, maintenance workers note: tractor arm status report. Add to the failsafe tractor clamps can only be disabled from main control room. That's where we're going, right? Bolted vent covers in place. Welding was given away. Should be secure now. Add to the missing fire hatchet to the emergency in case in the access hallway. Missing. F That's is that the thing I'm using right now? Inform engine room not to overdo the power transfer row from the anti gravity field engine. I don't want to die in a nuclear explosion. Send back numbers for the anti-gravity engine to Roswell. I, I don't think that was a required reading. Everyone, this is very important. Do not initiate the failsafe sequence for the tractor clamps from the main control room unless you get the go-ahead from command. I had to explain to General Angle. Okay, this is from the Nazis. Yeah, I thought I thought it was supposed to be uh, from our own because this is our U-boat for the longest of times. I had to explain to General Angle that you are not useless baboons and that you are in fact beneficial to the Reich. So if I see any of you idiots handling the controls again without authorization, I will personally throw you into the Atlantic. Also, stop misplacing hatchets. <laughs> yeah, that's a valid point because mis because those can go really wrong on you. I'm having Oh damn it, I did it again. Where did I even get grenades? This is not happening. Why can't I switch weapons now? Oh, I can upgrade weapons. That's cool. Hold R1 to enter weapon selection screen. Browse the menu and release R1. I tried it. I don't see any... Oh, there we go. Because R1 was just... I just... Uh, it keep throwing grenades, so I kind of gave up on R1. I don't know if the game ever told told me that, and I just forgot or just missed the message. But that's definitely something you need to uh, put in the tutorial. It this is weapon selection is less of a norm for video games. You, know, you generally don't have to tell people to how to move around, how to look around, even though they always do. But weapon selection, it kind of differs in every game. That tank looks explosive. So, so let's explode it. Is that 
Is that a strategy here? Because I'm about to blow it up. Okay, apparently that's not how you blow it up. This is like the good old God of War. Let's, uh, the temple is flippable, so let's, therefore, we flip the temple. So, we definitely need some special items to blow that thing up. We gonna need a bomb or something like that. I'm not really sure what we're looking for. Oh, maybe I just didn't shoot it enough? I, I'm not even... I don't think it's shootable, because if it does, usually the, the this thing would turn red. It's not, so... Let's, let's try another grenade. Got myself a new exit. Okay, maybe that's exactly what we needed to do. Shit. Getting back fast enough. Hey, thanks for the health upgrade. Ah oh, man, did he say I'm about to brag about this all day? Yeah, if you are a Nazi and you killed BJ Black Squiz, you're gonna brag that for life. Jesus. There's like no chance for stealth. I'm screwed as soon as I get down here. What the fuck? Is there any chance I can throw the grenades back? They're upstairs. Okay, not everyone is upstairs. Shit! I'm always killed that way. Will you let 
Lend me your wings. Um, I think you're asking a lot from Caroline, given the fact that she's dead. What does this mean? Does she have? Does he have a ladder on him or something? Oh, Enigma code. Thought we were gonna have like a letter to his grandson or something that makes us question if we are doing something bad. But of course, whenever Nazi is concerned, those are those tend to become like one of the only times in history where you can just kind of look things black and white. In many ways, that's kind of refreshing. So what am I looking for? We did we have this U-boat for? Oh wait, we're not on the U-boat anymore, are we? We are on their uh, we're on their helicarrier. That's why everything is uh, still written in Nazi. This thing looks pretty fucking crazy. Do you really want it? We're jumping, right? This is so cool. BJ, you wanna do a dive? Oh no. Come on, man, you gotta jump. Yes. I hate to ask. Will you stick around? So I can keep your wings a little longer. We are going home. Oh shit. What the hell is that? That's new. Yeah, nothing just a huge shit ton of bullets can handle, right? 
Oh, it's a laser guy where uh, fires high energy laser beams that can overheat thin sheets of metal until they melt. Metal marked with yellow chevrons in the case it can be dissolved. This thing can be reloaded at a charging station. Oh, so this is gonna be our tool. It's not part. Oh no, it's not part of my inventory, but I can drop it at any time. So. Yeah, we can't afford to drag this thing all over the place. Mm, but are we gonna need it right now? That's the question. Another very urgent question is how does BJ get to elevate his maximum health a little bit because 50 is pathetic. I'm guessing that's where we're shooting. Yes. Wait a second. Is that thing also should Okay. Oh, we're shooting the robot. Fuck yeah, it's a laser fight! Yes! Out of ammo? Have to recharge this thing somewhere. Maybe there. I really don't like this weapon, so... Uh, alternatives. Can we just use one of them? Ah, oh, fuck. How do I... Oh, yeah, that's... Weapon selection is really a little awkward if I... If I am to be honest. I much prepare... Uh, um, much prefer just the simple D-pad selecting things. Are you? You know what? I might as well just go recharge that thing. Takes a bit of time, so this is a bad idea to do in the middle of a battle. But it does handle the enemy pretty quickly. Getting a lot of their stuff. Health. 
<laughs> that is so fucking cool that I can do that. Yeah, I am a fucking death machine. Well, I, I've always been, but this is just above and beyond. Oh, crap. Oh boy. He's smart. What the hell? Yeah, you can still be defeated by regular weapon. A newspaper. Irene Angel or Angel appointed the general by our beloved Fura. The sun was shining and the birds were singing. <laughs> this is such cliche the opening to an article. Uh, during the ceremony yesterday morning, when Frau Irene Angel was appointed the general by the Führer in front of the Wolschau in Berlin, General Angel, who has devoted her life to the glorious Reich and our beloved Führer, gave a staring speech that was televised across the globe. We have been attacked not by a foreign army or a foe worthy of respect, but by criminals, murderers, and subhumans. I will accept the task appointed to me by the Führer and bring these people to justice. One world, one future one leader. Her speech was greeted by a full minute of applause. General Angel was also gifted the Osmizer by our beloved Führer, the massive sky fortress designed to strike down the terrorist instigators during the Liberation War in the American territories. You, you can call that thing however you want, I'm just calling it a Nazi helicarrier. Maybe we can just find the nearest place and uh, just jump into the ocean, right? Because they will... Because they'll just... Uh, they'll, they'll catch us. I mean, they won't catch us, but they will find us. Open the moon door! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anyone else? It's so weird that you can use one of these laser guns to charge another laser gun. I know, uh, reloading in video games has never made sense before. But sometimes it just still grab, takes you out of the game a little bit. Not a bad thing. What is this? Uh, Ober Lieutenant. And some Decker's e post. I understood none of that. Following the infiltration of the moon base, the uh, Orber Commando has demanded that the main security system aboard the Osmizer to be upgraded. Several backup systems and fail safes are to be put in place in the uh, Odin system. The Odin system is the most advanced and sophisticated surveillance system in the world. If our enemies get hold of a fraction of this technology, we would feel the repercussions for years to come. All authorization codes are to be stored at the Ober Commando Central Service. Mm -hmm. The moon base. 
That was a really cool level. I remember enjoying that part of the last game very much. And I also remember like spending a whole hour talking about James Bond just because the moon part reminded me a little bit of Moonraker. Your savior is here! Sure. Are we going in one escape pod or several? Cause hey, they have to go. Of course. I do want to go. Hold on. What? PJ, don't do this to me, man. Oh. Well, there's still a head. We still. We, are we gonna get a head? <laughs> She's not complete. Dibs on a suit. Is it me or does BJ look a little bit more human in this game? Look, we have a strategy. Caroline had a plan to liberate the United States of America, to free the U.S. and use it as a platform to liberate the rest of the world. And this is what we are going to do for Caroline. And what about this one? Can we trust her? Hello. <laughs> G give her a chance, I guess. I, she saved my life. She saved Captain Blaskowitz too. Now. Well, no objections here. Establish radio contact with an American resistance group in New York City. Now, do you allow blacks on board? Our cause. <gasps> oh my God! How did that man get in here? <laughs> 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 Again. You Which go. you are, by the way. Set course for New York and Steps charges. On your sonar station. Well, why a good thing you are half blood half deaf, right? Section F. Is there anything I need to know? But there is no section F. The maps are not accurate. We've looked and there's no door there. Now what if there is? What if someone is hiding in there transmitting that signal, huh? Cap, you assemble a team and investigate. What's in the way? Must be here. Move this locker. But you never knew this part existed? What do you see? Well, the shot from the other side. Punch it! Take this! Okay, that'll Wyatt do. Wyatt came up with a basic concept. The design is not ay ay ay, it's experimental, but it will be very useful. Does this end kill Nazis? Oh, enthusiastically so. Haha! <laughs> Not sure it will. I will open this. When you are done, big man. William, you have to find the transmitter and shut it down, or the depth charges will rupture our hull. Make the Okay, what is canister? Are these the canisters? Uh 
Okay. Whoa. This is like not how I expected it to go. We've made a mistake. On the floor plan, section F just looks like a little laundry room. We looked for it when we first searched the U-boat after you captured it, but we didn't see the entrance door. And with all the things we were worrying about back then, I suppose we didn't bother looking too closely. But now I've re-examined the floor plan and there's a reference to a completely different document. The engineering map of section F. I'll report back as soon as I find it. Meanwhile, what do I do with this room? Oh, silly me, it's on the floor. to all the fancy places still can slide well with this suit we should be able to slide better than ever What do you mean throw hatchets? This is not what I had in mind. Well, it works! <laughs> if it works, it works! What's that sound? Can I have my axe back? But no, you will not be safe. Not from me. This is what we do to stowaways. Crap. Should I remain hidden? Is that even an option at this point? Turn around, man. Turn around. There we go. Shit. Yes, they see me. Guess we are going into kick ass mode. Oh, William, I found the engineering map. Well, Section F stretches along the entire hull of the U-boat, and we're on the biggest U-boat in the world, so this section is gigantic. Some of it must serve as a main ballast tank or something, because it's a massive volume. Be careful, William. No telling how many Nazis could be hiding. So the Bell's diary. I feel like a coward. They stole our boat. Eva's hammer. 
The jewel of the beloved Fero. I wish someone had the guts to make a push for it. We can take back our boat from those degenerate brutes. I'm not afraid of black squids. You should. Okay, maybe I haven't fought anyone like him, or anyone at all for that matter, since this was my first assignment. Regardless, this cowardly hiding like like rats act we're doing is disgraceful. I shall speak to Commandant Fisher soon, if he ever gets out of that damn radio room. So, I guess, I guess they have a hell of a lot of canned food, because they've been camping. If they have been in this boat for the entire time we've captured it, they were they were at the uh, old base in Berlin for quite a while, right? Is that how they were able to storm the base in the first game? Oh well. Yay, underwater! William, those Nazis have been surviving in there ever since you captured the U-boat five months ago. They must be starving and desperate. Stay safe, darling. Told you this is not a really nice stealth move. They tra attracts too much attention. Crap! It's always fucking behind me! How, why, why, how could someone always sneak behind me? William, those Nazis have been surviving in there ever since you captured the U-boat five months ago. They must be starving and desperate. Stay safe, darling. Okay, I can take out the officer. Oops. Hey. Wow, I built myself a nice little shield here. <laughs> okay, this is good. Are you coming here too? A everyone's welcome! I can shoot them fine, but their bullets are having a hard time getting in here. This is awesome! Hey.
Victorium, I took a closer look at the stockpile of nuclear warheads in Section F. According to the engineering map, there's dozens of warheads in there. Let's hope the Nazis haven't tampered with them. Yeah, let's hope we can use them. So I don't. So next time we we find ourselves in need of blowing something really big, really fast, we don't have to send me there and physically blow myself up from the inside of it. That sounds like a really hot idea to me. And yes, I realize we're talking about launching nuclear warheads. I'm fine with that, really. Can we uh, go to sleep and go back to Wolf 3D in this game? By the way, I actually was going to... I wasn't going to like play this game directly. I was going to do another playthrough of uh, Wolfenstein The Old Blood. That was the standalone prequel to the uh, New Order. Don't think I'm gonna make it. What? A few more weeks, maybe. With your grace. Uh, what are you talking about, BJ? You're doing fine. can just directly go... Okay, that's not the way to go, apparently. Is PJ dying? I didn't even realize there's a person there. I was kind of wondering what the uh, hatch is going to do. He was looking at me, but he doesn't see me. This is the typical case of you have eyes, but you don't know how to see. Are you like screaming a little too loudly? <laughs> that wasn't even a stealth move. This is like really fun, but like, there is no way in the world you can convince me that axe is a nice stealth weapon. Nazi radio room ahead. Gotta find a way in. Yeah, we need. Wait, don't we have like? Yeah, this is the way in. Ooh. Thank you, William. Asmus is losing track of us now. Yay! Find your way back to the locker room. Bombate will let you out of there. What those? Shoot. What in the hell? Okay, who killed me this time? I wish they uh, they could hang on a little bit longer while I'm killed because somebody seems so. There always seems to be somebody yelling something really funny, like bragging about the fact that they killed BJ. Thank you, William. The I, I really want to. I really want to read that. Find your way back to the locker room. Bombate will let you out of there. Is he trying to laser me? Stop trying to laser me. There's a laser turret out there, isn't there? 
That's really fucked up. So this must be how I died last time. They went behind me again. were saying so this is what they've been using well fellas it's my turn now and you're all dead that's just great Is this the way back? Man, of course, things, out of here now. things just can't go too right. Hey man. Well done, Blaskowitz. As always. Everyone is gathered. I'm concerned about the fact that BJ thinks he's gonna die. Let's hope the human soul is not attached to the head or something. Hey, yeah. Come in, Captain. You weren't at the service, why? I just look, I couldn't do it, okay? It's too much. Caroline meant more to me than anybody else on this damn ship, and now everyone is expecting me to pick up the torch. Actually, I wasn't. All right. Yeah, I mean, look at me, man. I can't even find a pair of headphones. All right, I failed the leadership course at Harvard for Pete's sake. 
I know I put them in here somewhere. Where the heck are they? Oh! Hey, will this ringing not stop, for Christ's sake? You can't give up, Why? We don't do that. I'm not stupid, Captain. I saw the look in your eye up there when Frau Angle had you under her thumb. All right, the fire has gone out, and you are just on autopilot now until you hit the wall. Am I wrong, Captain? Well... Oh, thank God. I, uh... I salvaged some stuff at Jay's, you know, from the old Berlin hideout. Some old recordings and things, just, just for keepsake. That boy could play the hell out the guitar, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he liked it loud. I'll see you around later, Captain. What are those things on his arms? In Injections or just looking cool? Would you go see Sen? He wants to give you a physical or something, you know, just, just see how you're doing. Probably not good. I think he's in his workshop. Why is he all wet? Set. He knows as well as I do. What I got, he can't cure. <sighs> well, this is about to get really real. Okay, uh, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.